Hi, welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday. I'm back again with Vineet. Vineet, thank you for your time. Thank you. Well, uh, Vineet, uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, talk around uh, robotic processes. There's a lot of talk around uh, automation. There are two simple and curious questions that I have uh, to ask from you and want to get your thoughts and inputs. <coughs> Especially in the fintech industry, right? There has been a lot of um, discussion. There's a lot of uh, articles that have been published regarding robo advisory. What is the kind of applications that you think, uh, especially in fintech, that um, you know we should be considering or the audience should be knowing about? It's a great question, Arvind. I think um, especially when you talk about uh, robo advisory or robotic advisory mm-hmm. in uh, fintech, we're not necessarily uh, talking the same thing as an industrial robot. Mm. Uh, that there is a physical robot somewhere mm. sitting and doing something. Mm. Although the construct is the same, they mm. could be you know from an interaction mm. perspective, a representation mm. more physically apparent who is mm. doing the communication. But uh, you know, robo advisory. If you look at uh, you know, it's all about machines doing something. Mm. Machines having cognitive abilities. Machines having the ability to interact with the customer. Mm. And because machines have access to a lot more data. They have access to a lot more uh, computing power, algorithms, AI behind mm-hmm. all of this. Uh, they can help customers, uh, uh, help understand customers, mm-hmm. help respond to customer needs, uh, help address customer needs uh, in a much better, in a much more focused and a personalized uh, you know, kind of an, uh, way. Mm-hmm. So robo-advisory, uh, tremendous applications. Uh, to the fintech, hundred percent relevance. There are uh, companies who are already working on that, uh, and there are multiple areas where uh, you know robo advisory can be applied in the fintech. Okay, uh, being from a product organization, and um, you know, as product managers or as uh, product leaders, what could be the typical use cases that we should be evaluating that we can infuse? within our products, especially when it comes to uh, such robo-advisory kind of uh, models, mm-hmm. uh, which will eventually take shape or evolve over a period of time because it's a very nascent at this point. What's your take in terms of what kind of use cases that we should be evaluating? So, uh, if you look at uh, the financial world, uh, two broad spectrum, uh, the broad spectrum one end would be your personal finance, uh, individual finance. Uh, in that area, if you look at it, uh, like I said, uh, there are use cases in understanding the customer needs. There are use cases in responding to customer needs. There are use cases in addressing the customer needs better. Mm-hmm. And everything that can be done by the machine um, and in, in mm-hmm. you know interacting with the customer can be done. Mm-hmm. Um, so in personal finance, uh, robot advisory is a great uh, use mm-hmm. case and product management team will be looking at uh, not just giving advice on investments and other things, but even insurance, what type of insurance, how much insurance you uh-huh. need. Uh, going beyond all these traditional, uh, you can address uh, you know investment uh, horizon based on stage of life. Uh-huh. Uh, you can make it more personalized by understanding the health, the lifestyle goals of a person. Uh, you know the overall uh, you know context of the person to give a more personalized mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, advisory around uh, what all he can do whether it's insurance whether it's investment whether it's mm-hmm. meeting certain life goals or other things. Now, if you look at the other quantum, right? Uh, there is the businesses, correct? And business as an entity uh, is uh, reflective of the same technique as a yes. you know individual. Yes. Uh, so we can also understand in a similar nature, mm-hmm. um, you know, what uh, the commercial entity mm-hmm. needs. Mm-hmm. And they can be much more personalized advice mm-hmm. about their future mm-hmm. cash flow needs. Maybe you can predict the cash flows better. Okay. And then based on that, you can say, hey, okay, uh, looks like two, three months down the line, the cash flow is going to be under the stress. We may need to take a working capital loan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, where your greenfield 
opportunity right now. There's okay. a lot of work on robo advisory done on the personal finance side. There are use cases, and okay. still you can take it to the next level. Better modules, better mm-hmm. prediction capabilities. But on the commercial side, even the simplest use case of understanding the cash flows of a business, and then based on the cash flow analysis, mm-hmm. uh, you know, helping almost uh, you know as a CFO would mm-hmm. helping. What would be your financial plans, outcomes uh-huh. uh, as a business? Uh-huh. What are the industry context? Uh-huh. Uh, what are you operating in? Which industry? Based on the industry you are operating in, what is the outlook of the industry? Uh-huh. Giving financial advice uh, that's very valuable, and I think machines and robot advisor, uh-huh. which can do that for a business, is yeah. a very big. Very project. interesting. It could it could lay out something which is at the short term what you can achieve or what you have achieved. In the medium term, what kind of a capital, the working yeah. capital that you might need, at least from an SME's perspective. Yeah. And long term, there's some decision analytics that you can spin around that. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Vineet. Thank you for your time. Uh, it's been really interesting to understand your viewpoints and the kind of use cases. Uh, as a product team or as an organization, we'll try to see how we can go ahead and implement that. And uh, I look forward to asking you more questions in the next episode. Thank you, Arvind. That was a wonderful interaction. And I thank you all our viewers also for continued listening. Uh, As Arvind said, we'll be talking to you in future episodes too. 